So you want to start a YouTube channel, but you've got a five minute attention span. Yeah, join the club. Let's get on with it, shall we? First, head on over to youtube.com. And before you do anything else, do the right thing and switch to dark mode. Otherwise, you can quit this tutorial right now because my eyes can't take that type of punishment. You won't see much because you're not signed in yet. So click sign in and create a Google account. Yes, it's a Google thing. We recommend creating an account for work or business so your YouTube life isn't tangled up with your personal email and online shopping receipts. If you want to give this video some more watch time and see what's going on in these screens, slow down the video to 0.25 speed. I'll sound very drunk and you'll see me putting in personal details, picking an email address, the world's worst password and verifying the email with a phone number. Don't use my number, please. I've run out of credit. Now I'm blazing through these screens even faster because I appreciate you're a person short on time who's going to agree to these terms without reading them and refuse to buy any upgrades. Ultimately, you'll end up where you started, in YouTube, with a not so shiny profile circle in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can now click that button and then create a channel. Hi, I'm Rob, by the way, welcome to vidIQ. Yes, these glasses are weird, but they're also staying. This is a safe space. If you knew, there are no stupid questions, except how can I go viral tomorrow? Ask your doctor about that one. Now you need to pick a channel name and a channel handle, both of which can be changed later. So no pressure, this isn't a tattoo. Next, upload a profile picture that actually works as a circle, unless you enjoy accidentally decapitating logos. And would you look at that, a thing of raw beauty. From here, if you click customize channel, you'll go straight to the YouTube studio, where you'll need to do the most important thing after creating your account. So go to settings, then channel, feature eligibility, and then click on intermediate features to verify your channel. This unlocks custom thumbnails and videos longer than 15 minutes, otherwise known as the features everyone assumes they already have. You'll need a phone number again to verify your account, and please, I'm begging you, this time, do not use my number. I'm down to my last dollar here. And while you're in these settings, go to upload defaults and set videos to private or unlisted, never public. Videos take time to prepare, so you don't want them escaping before they're ready. While you're here, over in the advanced channel settings, you need to declare whether your content is made for kids. If you don't set it here, you'll have to set it every time you upload a video. And if you lie about this question, it can lead to serious penalties, including channel termination. So check the help pages before you set this. Further down, these same settings are video quality enhancements. YouTube will automatically improve your audio and visuals. And this is on by default. YouTube, you sneaky little AI fiends, you. So if you trust your own color grading and audio mixing more than YouTube's mystery sauce, turn this off. And if you prefer YouTube not to sell your likeness to third party companies to train their AI models, make sure this setting is unchecked as well. But if you want my 100% personal opinion, I think you should leave this setting on. Let's move on, shall we? You can head over to customization next where you can add a channel banner. This should explain your channel in seconds and not read like a resume. And make sure this channel banner fits mobile, desktop and TV screens. Unless, of course, you really are into visual decapitation. I mean, you be you, whatever floats your boat. Now then, let's talk about channel names and channel handles. Channel name is what appears on your channel page and anyone can use the same name. Channel handle, on the other hand, is what appears when you reply to comments, acts as a web address, and is unique to you. And yes, I can confirm that the channel handle at shadow ban for the win is still available, if you want to troll YouTube and yourself. There are other bits and bobs here that I know you don't have time for, so let's focus on the contact email. There is one very important rule here. This contact email should not be the same email as your YouTube account. Now I know that ultimately, the only reason you're here is for that sweet, sweet cash. So you want to head on over to the Earn screen next. This will track your road to monetization once you start making videos. Here are the requirements. And for once, I'm not joking. You do actually need 10 million views in three months if you only make YouTube shorts. Something else you need to do to get monetized, but it's probably worth doing immediately is setting up two-factor authentication on your YouTube channel. This will help to protect your channel. And this is also where my master plan is finally revealed. I did warn you not to use my number. And now it's time to actually make some videos. So here's my advice if you want to hear it. Just make stuff. It doesn't matter if it's rubbish right now, nothing beats experience. Force yourself to spend longer on thumbnails and titles than what you want to. Packaging is very important. And be different. Why you may ask? Well, if you're watching this video, you've just made it to the end and you've just proven my point.
V to Q in the mix, stats on the rise, views climbing high, no surprise, monetize.